Hi guys and welcome to my review of the Cyborg Fly 5 joystick. Now, in fact, this is actually my old joystick. I'm currently using a Cytec X52, but it's still a pretty good joystick and I thought I might do a review of it, as there aren't very many reviews on it already. So let's okay, go ahead. So let's start with the base of the joystick. It's pretty stable actually if it's um, fully extended like it is now, but it does down, it does collapse down uh, to this. So if we just take it back. Uh, say around the back, we've got two buttons. It's on the other side of the uh, thrusters. So there are two thrusters. And they can lock together or they can be unlocked. Uh, if you have twin-engine aircraft, you can individually control the engines if you want. Um, but yeah, but there isn't much range in this, so probably not that good if you're really you're really hyped about the uh, uh, thrusters. So yeah, and along here we have four um, controls, uh, four buttons, simple buttons. You can program them to whatever, obviously. Um, another one here, and we have the Cyborg logo. Uh, this is all. We also have a USB two cable. USB 2, very long USB 2 actually, so yeah, pretty long. Um, back around here we've got. I'll show you. I'll show you the main main part first. So we have at the top uh, four buttons, one, two, three, four, and we have a, a point of view hat switch. So that's good for looking around the cockpit or um, whatever you looking around the aircraft. And all of this. Also, sorry, there's another um, like scroll scroll wheel thing. All of this is lit by a blue light up here, uh, and here is a one-stage trigger, but it still does the job. Um, pretty responsive. Okay, um, I'll just get, I'll come around this side. We have in the um, in the like, foam pocket there is a like a cyborg Allen key. So this you can put it in loads of different places, like here. And then you can adjust this where what angle it sits at. Also, um, here, this you can adjust the angle of this. Also, you can adjust the height. So it's a really customizable joystick. Fits um, quite a few hands. So it's pretty good. Fits quite nicely in the hand. And also, I'll just quickly show you the. Um, so this is um, pitch, roll, and your. Yours pretty good on this actually, pretty uh, quite a bit of degree of your, but to be honest, I don't think it's sensitive enough. Uh, but obviously, I changed to the X52. It just has so many more controls, so much more sensitive. This is good to start out, but it's just not sophisticated enough or sensitive enough. So, yeah. But anyway, that concludes my review of this uh, Cyborg Fly Five. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below and rate. So just tell me what you think of the video, because this is obviously my second video, uh, video review actually. So yeah, tell me what you think.